Madrid in summer feels like an oven. The baking sun can be unforgiving, but despite an oppressive heat wave, public places here are turning their thermostats up. It's crazy. I'm sorry, but it's very crazy. Yeah, I don't think that is good enough, 27 degrees. The new Spanish law is part of a wider European effort to reduce gas consumption by 15 per cent. While Spain isn't dependent on piped Russian gas, it's offering to cut usage in solidarity and send more supplies to its neighbours. <laughs> Despite running a deli full of meat and cheese, Lola Arroyo is happy to comply. It's crazy that the rest of Europe has to depend on Putin's gas and energy. Anything that's new is hard to adjust to, but I believe these measures will help us. The streets have got darker too. Shops have been ordered to switch off their lights when they close for the night. The bars are still buzzing though. Fans are now doing the heavy lifting as Europe tries to build its energy stores for the colder months. So how will Spaniards cope with these hotter temperatures and less powerful air conditioning? Like this, wearing more casual clothes. In fact, the country's Prime Minister has ordered public officials to start dressing down and he wants other Spaniards to follow suit. At this tailor's shop in central Madrid, a crisp collar is still popular but no longer essential. It allows you to, 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 to still go uh, very elegant but... Uh, you can still breathe. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> They're also encouraging Spaniards to embrace a less stifling style to match the warmer temperatures. Clothes and the way they're wearing it that have to move on. Fearing a tourist exodus, the government has spared visitors from the temperature rule so they can remain masters of their own thermostats. I think nobody follow that rule. Will you be following the rule? No. <laughs> the rest of the country is being asked to get a bit sweaty for the greater good. Nick Dole, ABC News, Madrid.